project, bro. It was like cars, man. I'm telling you, everybody in the project had a boat. It was like cars, bro. And we was just going to get the stuff, helping the people out. And day by day, we was bringing people to the bridge. We found some refrigerators. Opened the tops of them, put the kids. We had an elderly lady back there, and Nicholas, my nephew, and another two kids. I think it was three kids all together. We put them in the refrigerator, and we floated to what's called Haynes Boulevard, which is close to Lake Pontchartrain. They were citizen uh, first responders. There were people in neighborhoods who were carrying children and women and older people out on their backs, on their shoulders, making makeshift rafts. The sense of uh, sadness and anger that I felt to see uh, the people I love so much in my own community suffering and abandonment is just something that will remain with me uh, every day of my life. You know, I remember Captain Timmy Bayard had organized the boats because there weren't any other boats or police officers were using their personal boats and boats that we had commandeered to start the rescue missions immediately because people were out there drowning. And we had a lot of guys thinking on their feet. I mean, many people in the police department acted very heroically. What was inspiring is people that stayed, it was all citizens. I mean, people calling it the Cajun Navy, or you call it, you know, just the you know, local step into the plate. But a lot of just everyday people were out there uh, from all walks of life, really putting their life on the line, diving in water, bringing out particularly people with Alzheimer's and dementia.